What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to do a bit of an interesting video and talk about the unwritten rules or etiquette 101 that I have noticed while playing here in North America East. I can only comment on NA East's culture as I have only played on this server. So it may be different for EU and Korea and so on. Before we begin, yes, I know it's annoying to some, but I'm just gonna slide in and say that if you have been enjoying my video so far and want to see more, liking and subscribing really do help me to know what people like and don't like so I can continue to improve while I have fun making these videos for you all. All right, enough of all that stuff. Welcome to Etiquette 101. Get those pinkies up because class is now in session. Be sure to hear the last one on the list as it is my biggest pet peeve. Number one, if you are accepted into a raid, you cannot be kicked. This is a sacred rule that must always be kept no matter what, even if some juicy and tempting whale DPS randomly applies after you, and I'm sure the lobby leader is kicking themselves in the foot for not waiting a few seconds. Too bad, right? Too bad, so sad. If you do get kicked, be sure to block that lobby leader and hope that many others realize that the lobby leader is unenjoyable to play with and just an a-hole. Oh, and make sure to share this video with them. Number two. Speaking more about Party Finder, if you are the lobby leader, you should always know how to leave a DPS spot open, right? And it's very simple. If you're at five out of eight, that's it. No more DPS spots. Because a support may have a friend. Nine times out of 10, they really do. And even if it's the most filthiest looking DPS you've ever seen in your life, kicking out that support may break apart your lobby. It depends on the support shortage for that raid, but be careful. Now, there is a scenario where sometimes you only want to leave a support spot, so seven out of eight, because some loner supports prefer to quickly join a lobby that starts immediately. This is where you need to do some competition analysis, looking at other lobby situations before you make your decision. The other lobbies have too many sub plus friend groups, then make only a looking for subgroup. Be the shining star in the dark, dreary sky. Number three. Now we pivot to the terrifying and mighty Akan. I don't know when this happened, nor was I taught this, but over hundreds of Akan runs, eventually, everyone just decided that the two supports do the football mech in gate two. You know, with the stealth robes. One day, I just realized the support always did it. Now, my theory is that it is because the rest of the DPS should bring sacred charms while supports have a built-in cleanse in their kit. Now, is that the truth? I don't know. So if anyone knows the real reason, feel free to let me know in the comments. Next, number four. This one's a spicy one. So story time. We all love a story. Back in the old days of Oldis, legendary elixirs were a hot commodity. Nowadays, nobody even buys them from the auction at the end, but that's besides the point. Anyways, because there was a high support shortage, the DPS had to willingly give up on bidding on the elixirs in those auctions at the end. And for the most part, the lobby leader would let you know up front that the box was reserved in the lobby title. Well, here comes my story. Now, I don't really mind not bidding on boxes for supports if they need it, because I do appreciate that I was accepted into their lobby. So awesome, I forego it most of the time. However, in this one particular lobby, they jailed me in gate two. The bard was doing 47% attack power and 60% brand, which is terrible because keep in mind, we do have an insane cooldown reduction buff from picking the red orbs up in gate two. 
and also, there was no title scene reserved. And also, I was doing 44% of the damage. So, innocent me, thinking it was free game, decided to bid on it. Because I did actually need it. Well, well, well. Wouldn't you know, the insane heat I got for doing so. Now, I decided to post this on the Lost Ark Discord because, hey, maybe I was the real a-hole here. But luckily, most people agreed that what I did was fair. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, this screenshot is the conversation that occurred and you can see at the end that I was called the too heavy R word, replaceable and re g, -g guarded So maybe not relevant in Voldus right now, but something to think about for future raids and imminent support shortages. Number five. We now circle back to Party Finder to conclude our list, and this one really grinds my gears, so I put it in last. If you are a support, do not apply to a 7 out of 8 lobby and say you have a friend. What is going on in that pea-sized brain of yours? Do you not see that there are already 7 people? There are a total of 8 possible peoples minus 7 equals 1, not 2. Either these entitled supports suck at math, and that's a completely different topic to discuss, or you are one of the most rudest pieces of shoeshire to exist on this planet. I cannot believe with my own eyes that I have actually seen this happening, and more than once. You are expecting someone to get kicked? Make your own lobby and quit being one of the lowest of lows I've ever seen in this game. Do better. And that was the end of this list. So we ended on a kind of harsh note, but these were the five unwritten rules that I have personally experienced while playing Lost Ark. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you did, remember to click on that subscribe button for more videos straight to your doorstep. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Class dismissed.